basketball season, Broadcasting Kids produced a live streaming to allow people at home to not lose track of the game. Behind the simple camera, a lot of people collaborate to make it all possible, and everybody has a responsibility. The technical director is the person that uh, switches the cameras live and cues the videos and stuff uh, using these buttons here. Um, so it's it's a it's a pretty pretty big part of the show, um, but it's, it mainly goes unseen if you don't know about it. I do audio, and essentially what I have to do is make sure that everything that's going on uh, during the production, whether basically around sound, uh, is going correctly. So what so everything from hearing the anchors inside the studio during halftime or post game, or uh, the commentators out on the court itself, and then the natural sounds from the game itself. All of that goes through me to make sure you guys can hear that. We have uh, three cameras that we use for games. Uh, we do a game cam, mezzanine, floor cam. Uh, game cam's what you see most of the game. Um, and then mezzanine, it's like a mix of game cam and hero. And floor cam is just straight hero, and sometimes you'll see it on the broadcast if they're close to the action. I help direct for the broadcasting, and I make sure that all the formats are made. Everything's ready to go before the game, all the prep work, everybody's on the same page. I've talked with my announcers, I've gone through with my camera's responsibilities and everything like that. Uh, during the game, I'm uh, mostly in charge of commercial breaks and making sure the flow of the game keeps going and everybody knows what's going on and that, then if there's a problem, we fix it and that's pretty much it. So the week leading up to the game, we uh, go into the back room and we call it the game production crew. We get together what uh, we need, so mostly it's just rosters, stats, and all that. And what I do is I piece together what the director wants me to get ready, and uh, mostly just getting lineups, make sure they're set, and make sure what graphics he needs are done. So basically for replay, I watch the games very closely, and if anything interesting happens, I pause it on the little replay machine, and then I rewind it, and I wait a little bit for the director to tell me I can play it. I play it back slowly so anybody watching can actually see close up what happened in the game and if the refs need to make a call or something, they can see that. So I'm a sideline reporter for North Michigan Sports and it's something I really enjoy doing, but basically during games such as basketball, during halftime I'll go get coaches interviews and stuff like that and then at the end of the games I do player of the games interviews, which is something that I personally really enjoy doing and it's one of my favorite parts of sideline reporting and I basically ask the player questions about their performance during the game and it's something that I just really enjoy doing and it's really fun to be a part of. While they often have many challenges to face, it is worth it to broadcast the game to viewers at home and across the world.